our reading this morning is from John's Gospel, one of the latest Gospels to be written about 70 years after Jesus' death. It is important to know this because it means this is not an eyewitness account, but is rather a story of Jesus created in part from shared memory and also as a reflection of the Christian community which had formed in the decades since Jesus lived. We have no way of knowing what, if any of these words, Jesus actually uttered. What we do have is the followers impression of whom Jesus was and how Jesus lived. Written in a time when following the laws and doctrines was central, this memory of Jesus is quite counterintuitive. This story of Jesus as the true body is a story about how to live in the world rather than about what to believe. The reading is from John 15, 1 to 15. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and God the vine grower. The Spirit removes every branch in me that bears no fruit, and prunes every branch that that bears fruit to make it bear more fruit. You have already been prepared by the words I have spoken to you. Imbibe, abide in me as I abide in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. Those who abide in me, and I in them, bear much fruit. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. God is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As God has loved me, so I have loved you. <coughs> abide in my love. If you keep my commandment, you will abide in my love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have understood from God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks. 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 